Okay. Are you a, a, a graduate of the no, school? No, I founded the Student Supporting Israel at Columbia University. I just graduated in June, and I'm part of the grassroots movement, SSI, which we also have a chapter here on campus that fights for Jewish rights, Jewish empowerment, narrates the story in, in Israel and of Israel, and counters any movement that's trying to counter Jewish rights to and Israel's right to exist. That's what we do. Uh -huh. Uh, so how does this compare to what happens at uh, Columbia? I understand Columbia was rated as one of the toughest schools for uh, Zionistic Jews uh, in terms of uh, anti-Semitism. Or for Jews in general, that's exactly why I chose the campus, right? I, st I started here at UCLA and I transferred to Columbia because Columbia was rated the most anti-Israel campus. And for me, I don't judge a campus by how strong the anti-Israel movement is, but how weak the pro-Israel movement. Their responsibility and their goal is to destroy us. As Jews, our responsibility is to fight for our rights and move Jewish history forward not just brag about Jewish accomplishments and cherry tomatoes and ways and technology and the fact that we're only democracy in the Middle East. That's normal. Of course we're going to be a democracy. We're a modernized, good people with values. So why are we using that as a talking point that gives us legitimacy? Our right to exist in this land is because we're a 4,000-year-old nation that came from this land, that always exists in this land, and 1948 represents the most successful indigenous liberation movement that ever existed. A movement that actually empowers other minorities around the world to they themselves get up and not be the victim anymore. Uh, what role, uh, what culpability do the uh, academic faculties have in, uh, in promoting anti-Zionism? Right, so there's a difference between the faculty and the administration. The administration cares about the majority. So if the majority on a campus become anti-Israel, they will cater to that majority. So we have to understand that the administration has nothing to do with it. However, there are professors that push this agenda. On my campus, there was a professor that said that the Holocaust was an exaggeration by the Jews in order to then, then have them come and colonize Arab lands, right? Trying to deny the Holocaust, trying to like take it away from us, that it never happened in order to get people to the conclusion that the Jews are really ultimately the bad things in the world. And that's what every single anti-Semitic movement throughout history has done, to try and put blame the problems of the society on the Jews. So that when the society revels against the issues that they are truly dealing with, they will blame the Jew and not really the people in charge. But even UCLA is recognized as having a very liberal, uh, one would say, uh, leftist perspective on Zionism and, uh, and Israeli rights and the Palestinian conflict. You know, to be liberal once upon a time used to mean to be progressive, to fight for minority rights, to care about issues that maybe in the past we didn't really care about that are still important to care about. But today, because SJP for the past 15 years have been building coalitions with all the minority groups around, not only using and, and piggybacking off the struggles of Palestinians, but piggybacking off the struggles of black people with Ferguson and the talk of apartheid, piggybacking off of Standing Rock for Native Americans, piggybacking off of LGBTQ plus rights, off of every single minority rights, in order to get everyone else to the conclusion that if black people are suffering and the Jew and Israel is the problem for that suffering, they need to be against the Jews and Israel. If the Jews are responsible for the suffering to the LGBTQ community, they need to be against that as well. And that's what's been happening. They've been convincing the entire community that the Jews or Israel is the problem. Do they believe, do you, uh, are there uh, faculty, UCLA faculty people inside? Uh, when I, I just was inside, right? I came out to hold a banner, but I didn't see any faculty inside. It's mostly uh, people there. However, I wouldn't be able to recognize. We were there for a total of five minutes. A lot of people screaming at us, so I didn't know who was a professor and who's not. But definitely also a lot of older people. Would, yeah, would you describe uh, what you did and what the, reaction, the crowd reaction was? So we're not here to be violent, to be uh, confrontational, to be aggressive. However, we do have a message that needs to be shared, right? There's a movement right now that are trying to destroy my people's right to even exist, let alone having a country and the right to self-determine. We're not even allowed to be a people anymore. Right? So I came with a message that says Jews are indigenous to Judea. The reason why the Jewish people are called the Jewish people when historically we're called either the nation of Israel or Hebrews is because the last place we were kicked out of was called Judea. We're all the descendants of a civilization called Judea and we created Judaism in order to preserve that civilization. And the idea of Zionism is not an idea that was started with Herzl and Pinskel. It's an idea that started the second we were kicked out of Jerusalem. The only reason why Zionism is the only one that's known is because it's the only one that succeeded. However, there were many movements in history of Jews trying to liberate themselves and come back home. Free Palestine, you're a terrorist, you're a horrible person, they obviously have no idea who I am. However, anyone that supports Israel or supports Jewish rights equals evil to them. And that's the image they're trying to show to everyone else. Mm -hmm. What's the uh, uh, country of origin of your heritage? All Jews, our country of origin is Israel. 
if you ask me where I was physically born, I was born in displacement because my grandparents on my mother's side okay. were massacred in Ujda in Morocco. My grandparents on my father's side were persecuted out of Poland during the Holocaust and fled to France to survive in addicts. So yes, I was born in France. However, France, nor America, nor anyone, nor anywhere else, nor any piece of paper that is supposed to tell me my identity will tell me who I am. I'm the descendant of a 4,000 year old people from Judea, from Israel. So if you ask me where I'm from, I'll tell you I'm from Israel. Uh -huh. So the Jews had to flee Poland, the Jews had to flee Mor Morocco. What are they trying to do here uh, with uh, the Israelis? Who is it? I mean, what, what, is, what the uh, anti-Zionists trying to do to Israel? Create a, a peaceful state alongside it? No, the anti-Zionist is, is the idea that we need to counter the Jews being strong, the Jews being self-determined, the Jews having a right to exist, to have an identity, right to have rights in just in general, right? So that's what anti-Zionism means. They're trying to conflate the idea of anti-Zionism as we're against the current state of affairs, we're against the status quo, we're against Palestinian suffering. However, they don't care about Palestinian suffering at all. They actually care about continuing that suffering in order for their leaders to get finances in their pockets and for the situation to keep going. Right? I have an interest. I'm someone who lives in Israel. I have an interest in changing the conflict. I don't believe there's a future without Palestinians, and I don't believe definitely there's no future without Jews. I think history proves that. And the only way we move forward is by people on the ground coming together to try and figure out a way to live together. Right? Whether it's a one state, two state, three state, four state, you know, we can all differ on, on what solutions will be. However, we need to come and start having those conversations. Is that this, what this group is about? That, well, who, which group? Uh, SJP. SJP is the exact opposite of that. They're the fuel to the conflict. They're trying to prevent any way for people to talk because for them it's a zero-sum game. Either we destroy the Jews or we die on the way that we do that. That's their goal. So our goal is to stand up against it. If their goal is to destroy Israel, right, our goal is not only to defend Israel but to move Israel forward. We're not only the counter-movement to the counter-movement.